Hello guys and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before, big news for Dinar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. The information you provided touches on Iraq's economy during Saddam Hussein's time, specifically regarding the value of the Iraqi Dinar and the role of the International Monetary Fund IMF. Back then, Iraq's economy was almost entirely dependent on oil, and this was the main source of the country's income. The value of the Iraqi dinar was high during the 1980s, often cited at $3.22 per dinar, which reflected Iraq's significant wealth from oil. However, after the Gulf War and many years of international sanctions, the dinar's value dropped significantly, as the economy weakened. After the 2003 invasion that removed Saddam Hussein, Iraq faced huge challenges in rebuilding its economy and stabilizing its currency. To help with this, Iraq received guidance and support from the IMF, which is an international organization that helps countries manage their economies. The IMF advised Iraq on how to fix its economy, suggesting changes to its financial policies and encouraging the country to move away from relying solely on oil. The IMF has written many reports on Iraq, offering detailed advice on what the country needs to do to improve its economy, including managing its finances better and making other reforms to support long-term growth. You mentioned reading a long IMF report, 198 pages to be exact, where the IMF talked about Iraq's economic situation including the exchange rate of $3.22 from the past. This figure is often brought up in discussions about possibly reinstating or adjusting the value of the Iraqi dinar, or valuation, which is the process of changing the currency's value, is something that involves legal and financial steps. For the dinar to regain any of its former value, Iraq would need to achieve more economic stability, reduce its dependency on oil, and follow through on the reforms that the IMF and other experts have recommended. Listening to the IMF and reading their report shows a careful approach to investing, based on thorough research and understanding of Iraq's potential for economic improvement. These reports from the IMF are key for anyone trying to understand the country's financial situation, providing insights into how Iraq can strengthen its economy and what it needs to do to possibly increase the value of its currency. The $3.22 figure from the past serves as a reference point, but it's important to keep in mind that Iraq's economy has changed a lot since then, and any changes to the currency's value would depend on many factors, including the country's ability to follow through on necessary reforms and stabilize its economy over time.